hey guys welcome to a new video and in this video we talk about how to get your driver's license in japan so if you're someone looking forward to driving in japan and want to know how to get your license whether you have a license back in your country or you want to make a new one you came to the right place so i'll be making it really detailed so sit back enjoy the video and i hope this helps you out in your quest to get a license in japan today it's september 29th so if you're watching this it means you're watching this in the future because today i'm registering for driving school because getting my driving license was one of my goals for this year and it, it's really expensive in japan so it took me a lot of time to save and get in but finally i'm getting in today and if you're watching this i probably already have my license so congratulations to future Rashik for completing the whole course and getting a license but in any ways I don't know if I can record much inside the driving school. I'm gonna go now with my bicycle. But let's see, let's head out and I'll see you after I get my license. So this video took me a long time to make. So I started uh, shooting this video, the short vlogs back in October when I got into driving school. So it took a really long time for me to come to this point end of november to make this video finally i wanted to get through the whole process and make a really detailed video so that i can help you guys out when you go on and get your license so firstly if you want to get your driver's license in japan there are two methods that you can go two ways depending on the situation you are in so i'm here it's like 10 minutes by bicycle from my house so this is where i'll be spending most of my mornings for the next one or two months i don't know how long it will take me uh, i'm trying one month but it's really hard to get it in one month because i have my job and everything to balance but let's go in and see how the registration goes so the first situation is if you're someone who has a driver's license already from your own country so depending on which country you're from and the type of license you have you can kind of get this uh, license transferred to a driver's license in japan but since I didn't get through that process, I can't give you much details, but I can say that if you go through that process, it's way cheaper than getting a brand new license in Japan. I think it's almost 10 times cheaper to get your license transferred from a license you already have. But yeah, it varies depending on the country you're from. So firstly, if you have a license from your country, you should go to the driving center near you in your city and talk to them. They will let you know if you can transfer Right. if you can do it's i think a simple just a simple test um written test where you are tested upon the rules of and driving in japan the traffic laws and if you pass that you can get your license transferred easily but i don't know the whole process because i didn't get um through that but some of my friends and seniors did and from what i know it's really cheap it's a faster process than getting your license from scratch so that's uh, the situation number one so in the second situation is the situation that i went through where you get a brand new license from japan uh, doing the whole process that you have to do here so if you want to get a brand new license in japan um, there are mainly two ways that you can get your license so the first one is um, if you go to driving school, that is the one I did. So you go to a driving school in your area, you do the school for one month, and then you go to the driving center to give your final test, and then you get your license. The second one is doing camps. So throughout the year, um, for mainly for students, they have this two week driving camps where for two weeks you go to this camp this place and you stay there and you do all the things that you would do in a driving uh, school but you do them in two weeks so it's a really fast process to get your license and in a lot of cases that is cheaper than your driving school so for example in driving school no matter which school you go more or less it's around 300,000 yen to get your driving license completely but if you go to these camps it's around 200,000 yen so you save around 100,000 yen depending upon which camp you go to so those are the two ways there's a third way which my uh, colleague at work told me Japanese colleague is if you have someone who has a piece of land in Japan uh, you can practice driving with their car in that land area learn all the rules and then you go and directly go to the driving center to give the test that bypasses the whole thing of going to the driving school but who has a friend who has a piece of land in japan 
So that's like a third way, but no one's gonna do that. But if you have someone, you could do that. You could learn everything and then just go to the center, give the test. You could do that. But I think that's probably only for Japanese people, but I'm not sure, but that's something my colleague told me. So yeah, for the main two methods, either go to the driving school or you go to that uh, two week camp. So we are gonna talk about in detail about the driving school experience of Japan. So as I said, for doing a driving school in Japan, more or less you have to spend 300,000 yen, which is really expensive. If you're a student, sometimes you get uh, some kind of discounts, but more or less you should expect that big amount of money. And I think it's more expensive than a lot of other countries I know. So yeah, it's expensive, but the process is pretty simple, but long. So it takes around one, more than one month. So keep two months in your schedule for getting the license uh, from the driving school so i went to the driving school near my house which is the kamena driving school so when you enroll in the driving school you get some uh, documents to study and the books so you get this is one of the books you can buy this on amazon if you want to take the test written test by yourself and this is the other book this is the driving textbook it talks about how to know more about your car and if you are like a completely newbie like me you read it through and know about your car and then they give this sample test questions that um, you can study for the final written test and also the written test that you will have to give in the driving school other than that they give you a booklet where every class you take you have a seal from the teacher who takes the class so let's talk about the classes i have the breakdown here so if you want to get a driver's license so there's two options obviously a manual license or automatic license so i went through the automatic route and yeah maybe someone will comment why automatic but yeah it's more simple i don't like to dwell much into my driving i like to keep it simple that's the mode of the channel so keep it simple so it's divided into two categories so one is your driving uh, practice and the second one is the written tests or written classes um, the lessons you need to do so for automatic it's divided into two parts the first part is until you get your learner's permit today is day 12 of my driving school and it's been yeah, around two weeks and today is my learner's permit test which will allow me to practice on the main roads so i've been practicing on the course of my driving school but it's time to get things real so i feel a bit nervous my test is in 20 minutes i'm gonna cycle to the driving school so let's see how it goes so for getting your learner's permit you need to do for this school so it might be different uh, for the school you're going to but more or less they're same so you need to do 12 hours of driving lessons so 12 hours you need to get on the car with your instructor within the school so it's it's inside the school you do the course within that school and you have to do it with the instructor and this is your start of your journey of driving a car in the school and this is the basics just how to turn and how to turn on the car and all stuff like that the basics and after you get to know that then you can get your learner's permit and go out and also in order to get the learner's permit you need to do uh, the lessons so you need to do 12 hour uh, 9 hours of lessons before the learner's permit so these are lessons taken by the teachers in the school so they talk about the different rules of driving the different aspects of driving in japan the different traffic rules so basically it's um this textbook so they read through this textbook which has all the different stuff you need to know about driving in japan it has stage one and stage two so stage one is before the learner's permit so after you do that 12 hours of driving and nine hours of this um, theory classes then you get to give the learner's permit test so you give the test with your instructor and you have to do a course and after you do the course you pass the if you pass the test and you pass the written test so here also before the learner's permit you have a written test so after you pass both tests you get your learner's permit that means finally you can drive on the road so that's stage one so i finished the test and i passed it was not perfect the driving went 90% great 
except one point and the return I don't know if I got full grade or not I think I didn't get full grade I think two or three mistakes but I passed done with my learners so 19 more hours of driving 16 more hours of theory lessons and then I can get my license stage two it's basically the similar uh, process you have 19 hours of driving this time and then you have 16 hours of those theory lessons so the 19 hours of driving this time will mostly be outside on the road other than learning to park so other than the parking bit most of the driving will be on the main road on the highway so that's a real deal and then the theory lessons uh, the stage two part of the book they talk about different situations about accidents and about different rules and laws in japan and then you finish both the books so that's the part you do in the driving school so the very past the stage two you have a driving test again but this time the written test that is the final test that you'll need to take in order for you to get the license so this written test you finally take in the driving center hey guys good morning it's almost 7 30 a.m and welcome to the final part of this long vlog i started in october today it's november 11th and finally today i'm going to the driving center to give my final test that is the written test for the license <clears throat> so if i pass this i get my license today if i don't i retake it so i don't know if i'll pass or not i studied hard enough but i did in a short time so let's go it's a bit far i'll see you at the test center so i'm here at the driving center this is the place so with the prefecture driver license center a huge parking space it's a beautiful day and guess what i passed i passed at the first go the dead test was pretty easy if you read the book if you do the practice tests in your uh, driving school if you go to the driving school or just read the book most of the questions are pretty basic and pretty easy i think it was easier than i expected so just know your basics and it will be easy for you to pass it's now 11 10 a.m they just give the results now i need to wait for around two hours and then i'll do all the procedures to get the driving license card but that's it i feel accomplished i had to sacrifice a lot like i had to go to driving school in the morning then do my work so my days were really busy and i had to run less which i love doing but now it feels worth it i'll finish this busy, busy schedules and now i can go back to my regular schedule thanks for watching and probably me in the future is in my studio sitting making the other part of this video so i'll hand this over to him important thing to mention you can give the written tests in english but the driving school most schools except the ones in the big cities are completely in japanese so the instructors who instruct you mostly will do it in japanese the theory classes will have will be in japanese so keep that in mind unless you can find one that's in english for me yeah the whole uh, lessons and everything was in Japanese but I got to give the test in English so the test in English since it's translated from Japanese sometimes some questions are hard to understand because they are I think they're Google translated I don't know why but yeah if if you can't understand that's one problem you'll face but other than that most questions come from the book it's all in English so you won't face a problem to pass the test and after you pass the test I think it takes four to five hours for the whole day so you go there around in the morning before 9 a.m and you if you pass you can come back by 2 to 3 p.m because in between they have a lunch break while after that they take your photo and print your license so yeah that's the whole process of getting a driver's license in japan i had to go through all that while i was doing my full-time job and i was going to driving school every single day almost every single day except weekends in the morning and then i went to my job in the afternoon so it's a really hectic process if you're someone who's doing a job if you're a student you can balance it out depending upon your school schedule but yeah it's really hectic and more or less if you don't do it like me who went every single day whenever i had time you will need two months more or less two months but if you can go every single day like me you might be able to do it within um 
one and a half months but not possible in a month like i was planning to do it in a month but it took me one month and i think 10 days to get the whole thing so yeah thanks for watching the video i hope this helps you out it has been a really long video i'll put the timestamps for people who want to watch the different sections but let me in the comments below if you have any questions because i i know i didn't cover everything i think i may have made some mistakes sorry for that but let me know any questions about the process about driving schools about transferring your license so anything any questions you have let me know in the comments below i will definitely answer them and if it needs a new video i'll make a new video and if you're not subscribed already please do subscribe because the next video is about getting a car in japan because if you're someone who's getting a license obviously you're gonna end up getting a car in japan so subscribe to the channel that video is coming up i'll talk about my experience of getting my very first car and also about the process of buying a car in japan so i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next video